In this video, we're going to talk about limits, and this is talking about walking on graphs near x equals a. Okay, great. So um, here we have, if we had something like the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x, what this is asking you to do is to walk near x is 1 on this graph, and I want to know what does the y value look like. Notice I say look like. Okay. Now, what happens is it will actually be the y value if the function is continuous at this spot. However, if this is a funky spot, it won't be the y value. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say that I want to look at um, the function. Oh, let's call it um, the function x squared plus 1. Okay. So if I was asked to find the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x of this graph, I would go over to this graph. I would walk near x is 1. So I'd walk on this side. I walk on this side and be like, hey, what y value do I think I'm going to on this road? And the y value that I think I'm going to on this road is the y value too. Okay, so in this example, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is just the y value there, which is the number 2. Okay, does that always work? Um, as long as the graph is connected, so if I was to do another graph, and let's say that I did um, the natural log of x, and let's say this time I want to find the limit as x approaches 1, of this function. Again, x is 1 is right here. So as I am walking towards it from the left and walking towards it from the right, this graph is connected and exists there. So I think I'm going to the y value of 0. So that's the answer is 0. So as long as your graph is continuous, limits are easy. What gets tricky is when they are not continuous at that spot, when they have holes or jumps. So the next video is going to illustrate what happens when we have a hole, and then we'll do another one that has a jump.